everyone. So we got a lot of requests about how to end your PG or training within Australia. So this video is all about training specifically in medicine and pediatrics. So um, just to make the process a bit simpler, I'm going to start with a scenario. Now imagine that we've got a candidate named George who has completed his training in India and has secured a job in Australia in January 2024. So our John um, has started working in Australia in January 2024 and he wants to do medicine training. Now John has a look at the official websites and finds out that the application for medicine training which is known as the BPT or basic physician training is opening in June 2024. Now, John has a look at the eligibility criteria and says and sees that there are a couple of things that he needs to fulfill to be eligible to start BPT. Now, two of those things were that he needs to complete 47 weeks of full time training, which is supervised training in Australia. And the second thing, he needs to have a general registration. And the third thing he sees that he needs to be registered to the College of Physicians before he starts BPT. Now, John does a bit of calculation and, and finds out that, okay, I started in January 2024. BPT is starting in, let's say, Feb end 2025. So to complete 47 weeks, I think I will be able to complete 47 weeks by December 2024 or early January 2024. And I will be able to get gen registration. So that means that I can apply for you know, this application. So John, so, you know, John is all happy and he's like, okay, let's apply for the application. Now he has a look at the application and sees that there are quite a few questions. It's a long application. It's testing you on your thought process. It's testing you on your previous medical experience. It's testing you on your problem solving skills. So he fills his entire application very confident. He comes to the last page and has a look at that the application is asking for his preferences. Now, John is new to Australia. He doesn't know what that means. He has a look at um, Queensland Health and finds out that within Queensland, in order to do BPT, there are different networks that you can choose. And by network, it means what area of Queensland you'll be working in. However, there are some networks which have different hospitals in different different areas. So you, you can have a look at the website to understand the different networks. Now John chooses his first three preference networks and put, that, put those on his application. Next in the application comes referee letters. So you need at least two referees. Now John uh, requests some of his consultants in Australia and they're very much happy to fill a reference letter for him and that's done too. Now the application is all ready. So John submits the application, hoping that he gets shortlisted. And guess what? After a couple of weeks, he does get shortlisted. Now what happens next? What happens next is that um, he gets a date for interview. Now interview, let's say is around August. So again, interview is a separate, um, it's, it's slightly more tricky and challenging than any other interview you, you might have taken, at least you know, the ones that we come across in the UK or Australia, it's a bit more challenging than that, but definitely doable. So John prepares for this, for that interview and uh, he gets selected in the BPT program. Now, once he's selected, he's all ready to start in Feb 2025. Now that you are starting, sorry, John is starting in Feb 2025, what should he expect out of the program? So BPT, be it uh, medicine or pediatrics is for three years and during those three years you will be rotating in different medical subspecialties as well as in general medicine. Most of your time will be in general medicine but you will get a significant exposure to other rotations as well. And honestly before you actually start your BPT um, the network will write to you or will give you a form to put your preferences that, okay, you know, I want to do rheumatology. I definitely want to do endocrinology. And the network will try to accommodate your, your, um, your requests as much as possible. So in short, that's how BPT application work and that's how you get into training. Now, um, let's keep John aside and let's discuss some common questions that people generally ask us. 
Um, one of those questions is, is it difficult to get into training? Um, like if I talk about medicine, so it's relatively easier when compared to other surgical specialties. I wouldn't say that you'll definitely get it, but then, you know, if you have a, um, reasonable CV and if you're passionate towards medicine and you're able to show that in your application and in your interview, so I think you would get in. Now, the only difference is that what kind of network you get or, you know, a position might be different from others. However, it shouldn't be that difficult. Then other question people ask that, what's the fee like? So, um, there's no, um, you don't have to pay anything while you're doing BPT. You do have to pay a little bit to the college, which is like an annual fee that you have to give. But that's, I would say that's around three weeks of your salary, three or Two, two to four weeks of your salary, not more than that. Um, so yeah, there's no fee. You are getting paid in return. And the pay scale that we have already put on our previous videos, but we'll put a link here too. You can have a look at that. Then people ask about, um, are there any exams in training? Yes, there are exams. So while you're doing your training, you are definitely having these workplace assessments taking place. You have a different... Um, different requirements actually every rotation that you have to fulfill and get signed off so you're being monitored all the time which i think is very good because that's how you'll become good clinicians but there are some formal exams too um when you're at the end of your second year of bpt you need to take two exams one of it is like an mcq and the other one is a clinical exam um these are very difficult exams but you know you practice and Hopefully you pass the exam. Um, majority of the people do pass, if not in the first attempt, then in the second or third attempt. Uh, in total, there are four attempts that you can take. And in case, by any chance, you're not able to pass the exam after the fourth attempt, then you'll have to withdraw from the college and look for a, some other specialty um, to proceed with. But that's less likely to happen. All right. Then the last question that people ask us that how about after BPT, will we be able to get a position in some kind of specialization? So the answer is, I think it's difficult to get a super specialization or an advanced training position anywhere in the world. It's not that it's uh, just difficult in Australia. It is difficult, especially in some specialities like cardiology or gastroenterology. It is difficult, but then it really depends on how you were before and during your BPT, what kind of CPD you were involved in, how passionate you were towards that one speciality, what kind of networks you have made through your three years. So, you know, if you've ticked all the boxes, done all the right things, I don't think anything would stop you in getting a position. Maybe you don't get it right after BPT. Maybe, you know, you work for one more year as a non-trainee registrar or as a chief medical officer, and you get some more things done on your CV, and then you get a position in the, in the speciality that you want to work in. So there's no hard and fast rule. It's not that you will get it or you won't get it. Just have a little patience and keep working towards the speciality that you really want to do. And I hope everybody gets the speciality they want to. Yeah, so I know that was a lot of information in a single video, but this is basically the, the important bits that one must, must be aware of when they're thinking of doing medicine in Australia. And uh, for pediatrics, it's um, a similar kind of pathway and a similar kind of competition ratio. Maybe a slightly more difficult than medicine, but again, it's doable. However, for surgical branches, I'm particularly not very aware of that. But from what I have seen, people have to work in um, as a non-trainee registrar or a resident for a couple of years, they'll have to work in that department before they're accepted by the college for training. So you can let us know in the comments if you have any other questions regarding BPT or medicine training in Australia. Um, also, if you would like, you can um, book a one-to-one -one session with us. We've put the link in our description below. So feel free to contact us using that link. All right, take care, bye-bye.